Good afternoon. The Cronulla Sharks NRL team is refusing to name the other players involved in the sex scandal that's destroyed the career of Matthew Johns. The rugby league identity has apologised to the woman at the centre of the 2002 incident but maintains he's not committed any crime. One of the worst nights of his life, Matthew Johns emerges from his Sydney home to tell Seven News he's trying to move on with his life. Sydney home to tell Seven News he's trying to move on with his life, but that might be difficult. Seven years after Johns and a group of his Cronulla Rugby League teammates had sex with a 19-year-old girl, he finally apologised for the hurt he caused her. You know, any trauma and embarrassment that she's gone through as a result of this, this incident I'm extremely sorry for. During an agonising TV interview with wife Trish by his side, the former NRL star admitted what happened in a Christchurch hotel room in 2002 was morally wrong, but insists he did not abuse the young woman in any way. The woman was a willing participant in what went on. They used a lot of like mental power over me and, and, and belittled me and made me feel really small, like I was just a, a little old woman. New Zealand police have confirmed they won't reopen investigations into the case, having already cleared all players of wrongdoing. Left to take the heat alone, John's career is in tatters. He's been stood down from his television job, as well as from his coaching commitments with the Melbourne Storm, decisions the Prime Minister says he supports. It's very important for sporting organisations across the country to show uh, leadership, and in demonstrating proper respect towards, towards women. Elsewhere, Johns is under increasing pressure to name the other men involved. You'd think the mates would save him the trouble by doing the right thing, by coming forward. The scandal has made headlines right around the world, threatening irreparable damage to rugby league's reputation. A sex scandal is rocking Australia's National Rugby League and prompting the suspension of TV commentator and former rugby league star Matthew Johns. John says his focus now is family. I've got to go away and make it up to my wife and make it up to my family. It's pretty much been living hell, I would imagine. would be the best way of describing it. Simon Robson, 7 News.